Hello, my name is Brian Stevenson, and I'm going to show you the Spring 23 feature to convert processes to flow using the Migrate to Flow tool. So uh, you can find this tool under Setup. You go to the Quick Find, go to Migrate, uh, or type in Migrate, and you see Migrate to Flow. You'll also find this um, announcement at the top of the process uh, builders where you can use the migrate to flow tool, which will take you to the migrate to flow page available on this link here. Um, and so I'd like to take a moment just to show you my process builder first before we do the conversion. Uh, it's a pretty simple uh, process builder. I have uh, two criteria. One, it will check uh, to see if it's a high value deal and uh, it basically will check to see if uh, is one is set to true, if it's over a million dollars, and the stage was changed as part of uh, the record update or create. And for the second criteria, deal one, uh, this just simply checks to see if uh, it's in a closed one status. Now for the first criteria, it's just uh, posting something to a chatter group and doing a, a field update. And for the deal one, it's just uh, sending or creating a task uh, on the opportunity and assigning it to the owner of the opportunity to schedule a handoff with delivery. And I'll take a moment here just to show you how this works. So if we go here to details, and we mark this as closed one, click save. If we go over here to activities, here we have a scheduled handoff. If we go over here to chatter, it says uh, that a big deal has been won. Pretty simple. Now I wanna just do a real quick sidebar to talk a little bit about what's under the hood of these process builders something I came across accidentally uh, several months ago, and I just wanted to share this little secret with you guys. Um, if you go into Workbench, uh, this is a great tool for uh, seeing uh, the inner workings of Salesforce and how the metadata is configured. When you log into Workbench, go to Info, Metadata Types, and Components. Oops, I need to log in again. and choose flow from the list, components, you'll see all of the flows that are out there, but look at this mysterious thing that's out there, this opportunity create or update. Now, this opportunity create or update, it's a process. It's a process builder. It's not a flow. So if I were to go over here to flows and uh, look at all the ones that are uh, unmanaged. You'll see that I have quite a few out here that are unmanaged or editable. And however, this opportunity creator update is out there, which um, I, I wanna just show you a little, a little trick that I came across. If you, and I'm gonna just copy and paste uh, something over here. If you take this ID from this flow definition or from this flow and paste it in here. So this URL and at the very end after flow ID, well, look at this. It's a flow. And if I go to auto layout, you'll see that it looks strangely similar to my process builder. Um, and I haven't done any conversions yet. This is just me jumping in and looking at what's already out there in Salesforce pre-conversion. And so we have like these two blocks here of logic. Uh, the first one, let's have a look. And it's checking to see, is it one? Is it greater than or equal to a million dollars? and uh, was the stage name changed? 
uh, you'll see here that it's posting something to Chatter and it's doing a, a record update. And for this second criteria, it's just checking to see, is it closed one? And if it's uh, closed one, it does the uh, task creation to uh, schedule the handoff to delivery. I just wanted to show you guys this uh, because one, it's it bears a striking resemblance to an auto-launched flow. Although under the start, it doesn't say auto-launched. It really feels like an auto-launched flow. And I'm not sure if Salesforce is just synchronizing the process builder configuration to a flow definition, or if it's actually running this flow definition every time the process builder runs. I'm not sure, but I just wanted to show you that uh, Salesforce uh, behind the scenes is doing stuff with your process builder as it relates to flow. So back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, let's go ahead and begin the conversion of this process builder to flow. So we'll go ahead and click this link and we'll see that we have the uh, opportunity creator update. We'll click migrate to flow. And you'll notice something here that it breaks down the process builder by the criteria. We have two ways uh, or two criteria that we're looking at here. And one of them doesn't have a check mark and one does have a check mark. And there's also a little recommendation here. It says uh, this criteria should be migrated individually for more efficient um, processing. My guess is it has something to do with the way the criteria was written and that it might be better off uh, as two flows instead of one. But uh, this one just doesn't have a check mark. And as out of curiosity, I went ahead and checked it and said migrate to flow and says we can't migrate this process to flow uh, because the chatter post action isn't supported. Now, what humored me is that it didn't say isn't supported yet. I hope that they support uh, it sometime because uh, there's actually quite a long list of exceptions to what's supported with the uh, process builder to flow migration tool. Um, I'll cover those at the end, but just wanted to call that one out that not everything's supported. So let's go ahead, try this again. We're gonna do the one that can be migrated. We'll click migrate to flow. And it says your flow was successfully created. It creates it in an active uh, state and then provides a button here to launch the flow. Now in this flow, it's um, got the uh, criteria where when it's a, uh, a closed one opportunity, and when it's updated to meet that um, condition, it will then go ahead and create the task to uh, do the handoff to delivery. Now you'll notice here that as part of the conversion, uh, the variables and other things that um, are being set dynamically, they get kind of a strange name to it. Like for instance, this one um, is today plus three, which is the due date of the handoff. So I'll go ahead and update this to handoff due date. And so you may find yourself um, having to do uh, some, some cleanup with maybe your variable names or maybe some of your other API names. So like this one, my rule, you could do um, handoff to delivery team. Actually, th this one be, um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. But you, you get the idea that um, there's gonna take um, some effort to make it a little bit more user-friendly uh, for readability purposes. But now that we've gone ahead and um, taken a look at this, let's go ahead and do debug. Um, actually, whoa, hold on, let me, 
Let me go ahead and save this one first. Then we'll do a debug. Now for testing purposes, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull uh, this one uh, from the uh, list. Actually, let me go ahead and switch to update. This is the one I just updated to closed one. But for my test, I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna say, simulate a create operation using all of the data that's on this existing opportunity. So um, let's go ahead and click on run. And as you can see here, orange line all the way down. When we look at this, uh, it did indeed create a task in the system. It also rolled it back too, because we're in debug mode, but uh, you get the idea that um, this flow would be um, would activate and probably run properly, um, which is uh, which is great. So uh, assuming that um, we are happy with the way that this was converted over, uh, we can then go back over to our process builder, go to clone, and we can go in here. Uh, delete out this criteria. It's no longer needed because uh, we now have uh, a flow that's handling that part of the criteria and the rest of the process builder can be um, executed um, because this uh, chatter is not yet supported. So uh, as a reminder, when you do all of this, do it in a sandbox first and then migrate it from your sandbox to production as a best practice. Um, and as I promised, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the other limitations. And even though it says here, flows can do everything that process, uh, process could do and more, the tool itself, um, it, it says that custom events and custom invocable type processes are not supported. Processes containing scheduled actions, custom metadata types and field traversals not supported but you can migrate these action types, record updates, creates, invoking a flow, invoking Apex and email alerts. So the tool does support simpler uh, process builders. Uh, you may come across um, some of those where you can't convert it over uh, completely. And my hope is that at some point, this tool will support more of those um, advanced automations. Uh, I'm, I'm very hopeful because uh, like I mentioned before, when I opened up the uh, flow behind the scenes, um, there's, there's stuff there. Uh, and I think it's just a matter of the tool correctly converting over all this uh, to the record triggered flow. So anyway, that's uh, everything that I have for this video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys later.